tonight I'm going to be doing a black scent grenade tutorial. Uh, I'm going to be using Twitch and live streaming to upload this and then I'm going to upload it to YouTube. So I'm trying this out. Tell me if the quality is just absolutely unbearable if it's watchable, you know, because I could probably get a lot more videos out there. And if I think it looks like I'll probably continue to upload them this way, but if you prefer them, you know, the other way, just mention it and I might do some videos, you know, the regular way, so. Um, so first off, let's say we're going towards two here as the EU team. Um, the first grenade spot you can do is, like, if they take the gen. So if the enemy team has the gen for whatever reason, you know, maybe your team's going one or mid or some people died in gen you fell back. You go in this corner and you aim up from this window ledge to the top and over the top. You don't want to be aiming here. You want to be over the top. Like that. And that grenade, it seems like it's more outside, but it will kill inside the gen. You know, anybody leaving or anybody camping here. And so you'll obviously get some kills with that as I'm all sure that you've all, you know, experienced somebody camping in that corner after they take the gen. Another grenade, you can do kind of same thing, but better. If you're going mid and you're not even going to attempt to go to the gen, so this is earlier on in the round, you'd want to go up against this. So yeah, you wouldn't want to use this if you're going in the gen, but then you aim, see this little corner, you aim at the top of that corner, and you're going to jump. And that's going to go in, bounce off the wall, and land, you know, behind the, behind the gen. Same kind of nade you can do, um, the flash, if you're actually going in the gen, you just bounce it off that. You have to land down there. Pretty sure you could do some, you know, jump. Oh, oh. Some jump. Oh, maybe not. Don't try jumping. Yeah, don't try jumping. That's my tip of the day. Okay. Anyway, another nade you can do that's, you know, very good nade is as you're running up the ramp, you want to line up the corner of this box and the corner of this line on the wall so that as you can see, they're straight up and down. You're going to aim at the top corner of the box with the regular grenade and then just walk up the ramp and let it go once you're at the top of the ramp. And as you can see, that's going to hit right here, right here, kill anybody rushing into the gen. Scope playing there, you know. A lot of times it might not kill them, but it'll let them up to 1 HP. It's fine because usually by the time you get there, they'll get hit by the nade and you can see them and shoot them if they're lit. So, pretty good combination. Uh, that's opposed to, you know, the normal like that you don't have to peek because this way is good but then you get a peek you know of course you could still do this I'm not that's a great name you know uh, that's another name you should do um, Mission earlier on the round you can also operation failure return to main base we're gonna wait till next round okay early on in the round as you're running up here you can if you get a very good spawn and the enemy has a bad spawn you know you can aim over this roof and then just let go when you're at the top. Now I'll throw it with the smoke because I'm not sure if it leaves a mark. You can also try this later in the round but I'm not sure how many kills you get. As you can see it hit there. You can get it to hit there and you can also get it to hit here. Now say your team's in gen and they're right about to push out you could smoke this you know with that nade and then push but it seems kind of I mean it's a good smoke it's just it's gonna, it's gonna run out too fast I'm not too sure about how useful that is. But that's another nade. Uh, another nade. If you're going mid, there's not really a nade you can do from here, of course, but you can nade mid this way. Go up in this corner. And usually, on normal black scent, there's like a white radar, like right there. Normally, you'd want to aim to the right of it and jump. So, in my head, I'm visualizing a radar, you know, satellite. And that'll go into the office and it should land inside this door right here. Yep, look. I don't even need the radar, I see. I, I just. In my head, I already got the satellite there. Perfect. Anyway, another nade you can do if you're going towards two this time. Go in the same corner, aim at this corner right here, and jump. And that should go in the doorway. That'll get, you know, people that, if you, you know how they like run peek the warehouse, the gen room, and they fall back, or people that just peek. Yeah. But the problem with this nade, of course, is that you're saying, well, people play here. It's true, but there's no real way to nade it other than, you know, <laughs> that, which is actually a pretty good nade, but but I tried to make the nade possible, and there's no way to do it, but I made my own way, which doesn't work because on this snow black set there's no lines, but 
we're gonna I'm gonna try to use my imagination again. Usually you go to like this line here. There's like a vent and then you go like two lines over and you take a step forward. And then you take it there and there. It's probably not gonna work. I mean I've never done this without the markers. Yeah, it landed in like the same spot, I think. I don't know. Yeah, you can't do it on the snow black scent. I don't know how to at least. Um another nade. Go up against this. Make sure you're all up on it. And aim to the right a little bit at that corner. Mission time there. complete. Jump. Operation failure. Return to main base. Ooh, messed it up. Maybe you don't jump. I'm not really a big fan of this nade because normally people aren't gonna camp there in real competitive matches, you know. But maybe at some point it'll be more useful than I think. But anyway, you aim at this corner and then down to the right a little bit, I think. Try without jumping once. Try aiming above the corner. Yeah, without jumping seems a little bit better. No, I uh, I don't really. I'd have to practice some more, but it should land there. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of that nade. Just forget that one. A good nade that I love to do is going in this corner, and you aim at this little black spot right there. See, boom, jump, and that'll hit a scope or anybody playing on the left side of warehouse. I get so many kills with this nade. I love this nade. Hits right there. Anybody you know peeking like this is gonna die. So you can do the same thing with the flash. You crouch there, and but they but that one they can kind of see coming, you know. So I like the other one better. Another nade you can do if the C4 is planted at two, you want to well. Let, let's go over that later. Another nade you can do on your way to two is you want to shoot the bridge right there. Go in this corner. Aim up from this to the top so that your crosshairs, oops, so that your crosshair lines the top and the left side touch that metal part, and then you throw it, and then you can crouch and do the same thing. And those will hit two different nice spots. If you crouch, it lands on top and hits somebody playing in on this hole. They're kind of like watching the 90, as some people call it. And the other one will land right here and kill somebody watching the same thing, but from this kind of angle, you know, or anybody rotating really. So that one and that one. Same same nade as you know that top one up there. Same nade, but from farther back. I'm not sure why you would do it this way, but it's a pretty pro nade. Um, jump up here. Diagonal angle to this yellow, and then you want to aim right there, and then you just want to that, and that'll hit this on top, you know, of the office. Like I said, I'm not sure why you'd want to do it, but it lands right there. Oh, uh, another good name if you're going in sight, you want to just play it at an angle so that you know it bounces. Shoot, mission time, you can just complete. bounce it off this. Operation failure. Return to main base. I'll show you next round. So you want to go play at an angle and just bounce it off that. You know. Well, kind of mess that up. You can get it to hit the C4, but I was aiming more for that corner. Try it again. Maybe I have to be further back. Let's try a, a farther angle here. Which way is... Yeah. So you want to try to aim it like I just did there. It's a little bit past the uh, mark. Yeah, and you can kill somebody playing this corner, which you know a lot of people sometimes play. It just depends on the team you're playing. Same can be said for I think the opposite corner. So if you go up here and you want to need this, you're gonna to want to do the same thing. You know, play that little bounce, and you can get it in that corner. So that person would be dead. And I guess here, you know, could also be used for somebody who plays that spot. Um, there's a few more needs. All of these, you know. Not all of these would be used all the time. I mean, the most useful ones are the ones I said earlier. But another nade, you kind of just crouch here, and just th oops, just throw it through, and well, didn't work so well as I thought it would. 
I know here you can crouch and throw it through, and that's going to go all the way back. You, what? Hold on, hold on. You can crouch here and aim at the top and throw it through. Wow. Maybe not. I know that you can aim at the top here. Hold on. Something's not right with this picture. Am I on the right floor for this? If you throw it through, it should go on top. Yeah, see how I just got it on top? I'm not sure what's going on here. There's something funny going on. Okay, look. I'm going to go on the bottom. Forget the, the, the last few nades I've tried to show you. Yeah, it's easier to go on the bottom. Go on the bottom and just throw it through. And I'm pretty sure we'll see. Those should go in the side on the back. I'm not quite sure where they went. Complete. Oh, those ones went there because they Operation failure. went soft. Return okay. To main base. Hold on. There's a way to do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna figure it out till I get it. Normally I would just say, you know, forget it. Don't even try it, but this one's kind of important. So I wanna make sure, you know, I learn it and show you guys. We can both learn something here. Anyway, so let's try run jumping it. So you just aim at the corner and you run jump. This is where it'll hit. Dun dun dun. That's not good. Now what are we doing wrong? Well, I'm thinking it's hitting something, so I'm going to try aiming more to the left so it doesn't hit something. Whatever that something may be. And I think that's better. No, it's still hitting there. So, what are we doing that's making it not go where we want it in the far back? Oh, I get it. Hold on, let me aim lower. Perhaps we were hitting the roof and we were throwing it through. And I'm going to throw a smoke. That way I can try to quickly see the trail of the smoke to where it was landing and see why it's been. So it's been going through and hitting there and then coming down there. So it's too high. Okay. By the way, this is how you'll, you make your own needs bus, of course, if you don't have anybody spectators do what I'm doing. So this is its own educational value, even though I'm missing an aid technically. You aim there without jumping. Let's see where it goes. Aha, we got one. Now we got two over here for some reason. I think it's because I changed my aim midway through. So let's find out which one was the correct one by throwing two smoke grenades. So, go right there. Line it up, aim at the top. Same at the top, throw it. Okay, same at the bottom, throw it. See which one gives us a better luck. Well, looks like it could be both of them. Yep, both of them. Okay, so that's how you do that, now, guys. Go on the bottom floor, Jen. When the bridge is destroyed, you aim at that top and bottom corner, and you'll kill somebody playing this angle. And that is how you also make a new grenade spot. Brought to you by Ghost or Hex Failing and Nade. Okay. Now, another nade you can do is you want to go right here against this. You want to just toss it through there. Let's make sure that Ghost or Hex isn't failing another nade. Which I probably Mission am on this complete. one because I don't use this one. Operation failure. Return yeah. to main base. We're gonna have to try to learn this one together too. <clears throat> Sorry if I might seem I'm a bit unprepared, but I don't really use these nades a lot, and I just decided to do this grenade spot tutorial at the last second, so didn't really take the time to learn these ones. Because I already, I'm just showing you the ones I know for the most part. So we're gonna go right up against this thing and. You right there and jump. And this grenade, of course, is before you push in. <clears throat> so if we jump, let's see how that compares to the non-jumping version either way through. Same thing. Now why would a jump be the same as a non-jump? Well, that's because it's hitting the ramp. Well, how do we get to not hit the ramp? Well, then you, you run forward or change your positioning. But how do we change our positioning? Like this. So you go at that weird angle and then jump. Let's see how that turns out. Aha! Better. Got it to where we wanted it. And it hits this this guy right here watching this. So that is how you make a nade spot version 2. And so let's review these nades. You're under the bridge. You want to nade people watching vent. First nade. You go right here. You just aim at the corner. Boom. Second nade. It's some weird angle so that the blue box does not appear. The blue box does not appear. The blue box does not appear. And then you jump. Well, jump. 
and they will go where you so decide. Er, this one didn't turn out so well. The other one turned out beautifully. So this one's a little bit weird, uh, but if you get that right angle and you jump, it should land somewhere around there. So that's that. Once again, sorry for being unprepared, quote unquote, but like I said, I don't use that nade that much. Miller nade I don't use that much. Nades, I should say. But a useful go right against this, and you're going to aim over this. And that should go and kill somebody at the window and office. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't aim that high. Okay, like that. No, 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 no. Over that. The snow blacksmith thing really throws me off. Hold on, guys. Try aiming right there. No. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna figure this one out too together. Aim right there in the black. <clears throat> no. Okay, forget this one. Anyway, what you can do is you aim at this corner and you bring it over Mission to over this complete. blue, Operation and that'll go in office and kill Defend people in the, the camper base. spot. The camper spot is that gay spot that all of you kids with shotguns play. By the way. Yes, I'm talking to you. Whichever one of you kids uses X or E09 and shotgun, this is for you. Oh, I know what I was doing wrong in the last night spot. By the way, the last night spot, I think you go right. Never mind. I don't know what I was doing. Nope, no idea. Anyway, going back to this night spot here. This is the night spot for the office for all of you gay kids with your shotguns and E09. Eat it, faggots. There you go. Yep, this is for you guys right here. You know, the only of that corner of the whole game, that's for you. Anyway, we can get back to nade spots here. I'm gonna leave the C4 nade spots in this in this for um later on because I wanna do them separately. So I am going to leave the game and restart it so that I can be EU again. So that I can show you the EU one nades. Which I actually know all of these nades, so I shouldn't be scrambling to try to figure out a nade spot, you know? Which I'm sure most of you are thinking you're so thinking God right now, you know, pretty much like, oh my gosh, one day he's like gonna have to learn nades again. Which, yeah. Anyway, so early on as you're rushing, you can aim over the warehouse right here and jump. And this is also a need you can do later in the round. It's I probably did that wrong. Let me make sure. You run and jump there. And as you can see. It hits right here. You can get the hit right there. So you know anybody camping the warehouse here or going mid, you know it's a scope. I'm sure you've seen people play in that angle. That'll get you a lot of kills, and you can do that throughout the round, beginning and anywhere. Another nade. You run and jump over it on this side, and this nade should hit the stairs if I didn't completely mess it up. So, yep, and that'll kill the scope there. That that's a little bit. I mean, it's just, I think it's a nice idea if you're rotating and, you know, you can make them think that you're still in the warehouse. Now, to do it easier, while you're in the warehouse, you just aim at this little black smudge, boom, out the window, same spot, bring it over, window, boom. And this one will land on the green wall. So, the first one landed at the same spot, the second one lands at the green wall, right there. And we're going to go over here, same nade as the first two, the flash. So then you got three ways to need it. And then if you go a little bit over, oops, go a little bit over and up, so like, you know, that, you can toss it out the window, and you'll get more of a angle. And I'm pretty sure that if you go at even more of an angle and toss it out that window, oops. Basically, hold on, you can toss it out of the window here and get it to flash there. If I don't mess this up horrendously several times. So, oh, that's the worst mess up so far. Okay. If this doesn't work... Okay, anyway. Let's get back to the nade spots, not not guess and check nade. Okay. For the window nade, which... This is essential nade. Everybody needs to know an AVA. Everybody knows this. Everybody calls this. If you don't know this, you're new. Okay. Go up on this. And then you aim at this corner, but a little bit up into the sky, and you throw it. No jump. And I'm new. I missed it. Okay. Go up on the railing. Aim at the corner, a little bit into the sky. Okay. And I got it. Now, as you can see, it wasn't consistent. It didn't work. Every time. So you go up against this wall. You're going to aim right there. And I don't Mission think you jump. Complete. I don't think you do. Operation failure. And it Return goes in the window. The That's an alternative way to do it. And there's a third way to do it right here that I'm not even going to go over. 
So there's two ways to need the window by Ghost or Hack. So if you're told to need the window and you say you don't know how, shame on you. There's also another need at the beginning of the round, which I forgot to mention, back here. You go right here and you can just chuck it in the window and just hope for the best. And it hits right here and it'll kill somebody coming into the warehouse early on if they rush the warehouse. Which used to be a popular tactic, which now isn't. Another nade spot, you go in this corner and you aim. Uh, it's just a little line a little bit to the left and low, basically, so it goes out the window. You land on the front stairs, which, you know, back stairs, front stairs, where the scopes play. You always see them peek at mid and all that. That's how you kill them. Another nade spot for scopes, you go in this corner, you aim in the window, the middle one, and you just run jump it for like a step or two. That's gonna hit the infamous, you know. I uh, actually hold on. This will hit a camper. That's a little bit, yeah. Because I was aiming in the middle of the window, you know. Well, if you want to hit the scope, you just you want to aim a little bit more to the right, actually. So we're gonna aim a little bit more to the right and do the same thing. That's the infamous scope, I think. Maybe I could even aim more to the right. Yeah. Well, anyway, this will hit somebody playing there. So that's pretty much most of the needs you need for one. I'll save the C4 need for later, of course, as I said, for the same thing as, as the two needs. Um, another need, actually this is like the last need. You can use a smoke grenade for this or a regular. You just aim, go, go to where you can see in the crack and then you're going to aim from the lamp to the top and then over it, over the top window. And that is going to land at their base behind the green barrels. And that'll kill, you know, a scope or anybody rotating. Now if you smoke it, same thing, but like this. So that when you push, you can push right away and they can't see you rotate from there and there. Pretty nice smoke, pretty nice nade. Same thing for the nade that lands here, you know, from back behind the warehouse. If it lands there, boom. Oh yeah! I gotta show the nade from in the warehouse. So, if you're in the warehouse, you go in the same corner. This is like the nade spot corner, by the way. And you just want to aim, see where this little window is, just aim in the window and don't jump and it's going to bounce off this, bounce off through the window, bounce out and kill somebody standing Mission right there. Time complete. You smoke it, you Operation can then push failure. one Return site and nobody from window can kill you because it's smoked. Yep. Good tactic. Um, I think that's most of the camping spots and nades you'll need for one. Another thing is, you know, after you plant the bomb, what you can do is you can just run right here and make sure that, you know, your crosshair is like right around there and jump. And that will go to two. And I kind of messed it up a little bit, so it's going to land right here. You can get it in here. So either way, you know, you kill people rotating. It's the best killing a rotator need, I guess, possible. And those are pretty much all the needs you're going to need. For both sides, one and two, I don't really, I, yeah, I don't really use any other nades. So let's get to the bomb site grenades then. Okay, C4 grenades from one, the basic one that everybody used to know, and everybody like I used to see duckies do this, and then nowadays not even the highest ranks know it pretty much. Go in the corner, crouch, you aim at this left window corner, boom. That is gonna get you a massive amount of kills because you can just go in the warehouse and stall and kill, you know, the first diffuser, run up, and then you kill a second diffuser, and it's gonna help you a lot. Now, there's another way to do it, which if you're playing a pro team and they know this nade spot and they're gonna check it, um, want to go here and line up. This is a nade I invented, by the way. Line it up so that this, you're in line with this, and then you're in line with this, so you're in line with this this then you're gonna aim at this little in between the white thing and the little truck forklift thingy right there and then you're gonna jump oh a little bit too high there we go and that'll land on the one side same need different locations that you can avoid being oh it didn't go f this one kinda got messed up it hit something but you can get it to hit there same nade just to avoid complications. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go over the NRF nades, but real quick, I'll tell you another secret. You know, how most people you hit, you do this thing where like you have your buddy stand right there, you jump on their head to get up on that, and you think it's fun and glitchy, and not really useful because it takes two people. Well, 
if I didn't FPS lag, I could show you a better way to do it. Mission time complete. Yeah, I Operation just did that solo. Failure. Strafe Return jumping will allow you to do ridiculous things like this. And people thought you couldn't strafe jump in EVA. Wrong. So now let's go over to the two site grenades. Um, I use a simple two site grenade. There, you can throw the grenades over the C4 from all the way back here so that you can't be seen. I'm not exactly sure how. Probably something weird. But to me, I just go right here and I just aim. See this little, see this little line? You just aim right there. And that's gonna go hit the blue thing, fall in the sight, and kill somebody on the C4. Like I said, a lot of people have some crazy nades, so you can't be seen. You know, it's advantage that we can't be seen from anybody here and whatever. But the thing for me is, any most teams, any team, you go to nade the C4, they aren't gonna have people checking on the outside. This nade is 100% safe, 99% of the time. So. That's the one I use. <clears throat> if you want to hit the, the second part of the C4, you just aim a little bit to the middle, but to the right. That should bounce, and that'll land you know, on the second plant spot that everybody plants up on the pillar. So, right there, right there. If you plant right there, it's the same need as that one. It, it might not kill them exactly, but it should probably lit them up enough that it's fine. <clears throat> and that's that's what you're going to need to C4. Um, so let's go to the NRF needs now. Those C4 needs can actually be interchangeable because if you come from a flank side, you know, like if you come from their base as NRF, you can need, uh, you know, the people planning. It's actually, I've actually gotten a few kills that way. It's more rare though, of course. So. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I wanted to stop and show you my RP real quick though. Um, the RP system has just came out at the time of this video. It's been out for two days, I think. And so, if I look like a new for having 1650 whatever RP, it's because the system just came out. So, okay. So NRF nades. Right off the bat, the first nade you're gonna want to learn. Everybody should know. Sort of like the warehouse nade to the window. Is you're gonna run over here right as you spawn, and you're just gonna do this which is basically putting your crosser at the top corner of there and letting it go at the bottom corner here so you're just gonna boom well I just lagged definitely not like that you don't want to need yourself but like what I just did otherwise and this nade is going to go to the bottom of the ramp and hits right around here and that'll get you some early picks of course uh, people expect it more than they used to for sure like everybody knows they need it now right like even duckies get hit by a so but you'll still get one or two kills per game three kills per game doing that uh, change of the same nade is to go right here top line of your crosshair touches this corner and you jump this is a nice nade to do if they usually get past that first nade or perhaps later in the round you can do it you know Ooh. and it didn't leave a mark I'm gonna throw it like three times that way you know one of them leaves a mark so you just want to go in this corner, boom, top line of the cross right there, boom. I'm just going to sit here and jump throw it a bunch. And what this is going to give you is this. It's going to need anybody going in this door. So obviously as they come up, you know, boom. You just got to get the timing right. Now, if any of those nades, you know, aren't working for you, you can go back haul, jump up in this corner, and you're going to aim at this little edge of the warehouse, but to the left a little bit and jump, or should I say gen room, that warehouse, and it'll bounce off this wall and come in and kill people coming into the gen, they don't really have time to dodge it, and actually it's funny because the way it, it does it, right, is it's going to bounce off this window and come in, like, bam, and so what they're going to see is they're going to see three meters, you know, and the like if they're right here when it's behind them it's gonna say you know four meters so they're gonna try to jump away from it but then it's gonna get closer because it follows them so as they try to run away from it, it follows them in you see so actually uh, pretty funny <laughs> another NRF nade in the middle of the round if you know you you have the gen and they're playing outside you just want to aim at like this corner and jump Your efforts are commended. I'll show you next round. So, off as you're running in here, an early nade, you know, you can run and jump right there, and that's going to bounce 
Well, I totally did this wrong. Hold on. Early nade is you can run and jump right here, and that's going to bounce and hit right there on the stairs, on those stairs. And you can also do something like. Oops, hold on. You can do that default nade right there. Just kill anybody rushing in. Or you can do this nade, which. Yeah, it'll kill anybody coming in those stairs. Anyway, middle of the round nade. You want to go right here. And just aim right there and jump. For a mark, I'm just going to, you know, throw it a bunch of places. That way it leaves a mark, hopefully. This nade is very hard to leave a mark because it kind of like blows up in the air. There we go. And it'll hit right here on the ramp. You notice how like a lot of times the scope or whatever will be playing back here if they're not pushing in? That's how you kill them. Another nade you can do while you're waiting for them to push in is you want to go in between these two lines. Go up there and then you just want to aim out the... Wait. Actually I think it's more along the... Yeah, it's this line. Right there. And then you want to just aim out the window right around there. Boom. And that'll bounce off the wall and come over here and it'll kill somebody playing behind the uh, white box. <clears throat> now, for another spot where they camp behind the green barrels, you just go up on top. Throw it right there. So you got that. You got behind there and you got there. Where do they play, guys? Well, if they're waiting to come in, they play there, 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 or there. So when you come out, guess where you have to check? This direction and then there. It's that easy. It cuts down your checking because normally you have to like come out and like check the ramp, check there. You know what I mean? Like, you check the ramp. You gotta check this and this at the same time. You gotta like, come out backwards and show your back to the guy in that corner, and it's impossible to get out. Not so much. Oh, by the way, of course you can just. Yep. Uh, I just messed that up, but you, you know, you can just. You, you, I hate you if you do that to me. It happens to me all the time when I go in that corner. Anyway, um, we'll start off next round with these. Oh yeah. If you're playing two and they get the gen, and you're either that or you're rotating in the two, it really doesn't matter. You can just go in this corner. Mission time complete. I'll show you next round. Operation success. Return to main base. Your efforts are commended. You can go in this corner and then aim at this corner right here. And you're going to be able to bring it up to the height of that. And then jump. And this will go to the top gen. Oh, I messed up. Hold on. Oh, yeah, you don't jump. I'm a rifle. Right. Go in this corner, aim at this corner, bring it up to the height of the ledge, and throw it. No jump. If you're a point man, jump. I'm used to playing point man, so I jump. But as you can see, this first bridge tile was destroyed. It's because the nade goes right there, and it'll kill people around this, this pushing out on the bridge. You know, you get multiple kills with that nade. It's very useful. Another nade you can do from mid into the gen, go in this corner, and then you just bring up your aim to like right there. And that should land right there. I think I might have messed up that nade. Yeah, I messed it up on top. It's harder to do because of the snow black scent, but you get the idea. Um, Another need you can do early on, right as you spawn, is you go up top right here, and then you can toss it along there. Another way you can do it is line up this edge with that edge, and then you just run through it. Of course, that one takes longer to do. It just depends on the timing of where they are, and it also lands slightly differently, I think. And yeah, they're going to land right there, around the top of the ramp, and around the lamp posts and that'll get people running to gen. Another need you can do in the middle around, of course, just toss it over, that'll land near the uh, back stairs door. Entrance uh, to oh they actually landed on the bridge. Must have hit the bridge then, my bad. But yeah in the middle of the round I always just throw this. If I see them going towards the back stairs or whatever, I just throw that nade. And that nade should definitely go to the back door. Yep, see, right in that back door. Boom. Surprisingly enough, yes, it actually gets kills. <laughs> see, nades don't always have to be the most complicated 
stand in this corner kind of deal, you know, to get kills. It's more like, it's, it's just about your timing. Think about it. You could have a nade hit in the middle of nowhere and get kills if you have the right timing, right? <clears throat> so it's all about timing and knowing where the enemy is. So, okay, another nade going in this corner. <clears throat> and you see that little white line? You just want to aim at it. Boom. And you're going to make somebody very, very, very angry at you. Like, angry. Okay. That is because they were in the vent, and you, and you just, you just, well, I just lagged, but no, you just flashbang somebody in the vent from, from the logic. Yeah. That need, yeah. I know it's a crazy need. Um, another flashbang need you can do from office. You want to line up this edge with that edge. And then you want to aim at the top corner there and run jump. And that will land at the top floor right there above the bridge but I'm in the land right here <clears throat> um, more nades from mid this time we're gonna aim them at one go to the third one two three ledge right there and then you wanna aim at this corner but then you're gonna run and jump I think I might have messed up that need because I yeah, I messed it up. Let me try this one more time. My bad. Is it the fourth edge? Nah, it's this one. It's gotta be. Yeah, you just try and run through it. No jump. Now, another need you could do on the other black set before this one was you could go to this little line right here and then aim right there and that would hit down mid. Now, without that little line, I'm gonna just guess here and there. So we're gonna. Oh look, it's an imaginary line that goes through you on the ground. Okay. And then you aim at this corner right there, and you're just going to throw it. And that should go down and hit the scope spot. Now if it doesn't, once again, Snow Blacks and gay. No, look, see? Ghost through drew perfect lines in his head again. Magic. Wait, how did three nades hit here? Did, did all, all, okay. Well, I guess that's two different ways to nade there. I didn't even know. Okay, so if you go to the third line, I remember how I was at the third line and I ran and aimed at that corner and jumped and all that. All those nades that I've thrown you so far this round, all of them hit right here. Where that scope spot is. See, I had been confused. I guess if you go to the third line and throw out that spot, it hits there. If you go to the second line, it's going to hit right here. I'll show you. So once again, let me repeat. That nade spot I drew with the imaginary lines in the ground hits that corner. And then also this nade spot will hit the same corner. Now, for the other nades, but I was trying to show you, go to this line, not that one, and then you aim at that same corner and you run, throw it. And that should hit behind the white box in mid, which it does, see? So, this will hit right here. And if you go to the third line, it would hit right here. So that's neat. You can remember the same spot, but different lines and hit right there. It can also be a downfall if you forget. Then you're fucked. Okay. Getting back to realism here, you can go in this corner, crouch, aim at the intersection between these two little roofs right there, stand, throw. This should go inside the warehouse and hit in front of the warehouse door leading to one. Which um, gets a lot of kills. I mean, hit right there, but you can, it'll it'll kill anybody in opening this door. So if you hear him open that door, it's always a good thing to do. Um, Another nade, you know, you're rotating from mid to one, and they have the one site. You aim at this right here. It's gonna jump. That'll kill somebody at that corner, because after they plant, a lot of people go behind here to try to stall or get the right angle. It lands right there. Cause, you know, like I said, a lot of people play right there. If you want to hit the site, you just go right here. Aim, I think it's the second one, and then you jump. Yeah, that lands on the site. I don't know if it leaves a mark, we'll go see. Yeah, somewhere around the site. It's good enough. Now, if you want to flashbang the site, this one is more reliable and gets more kills. You just go up to the window, aim over the site right there. Boom, flashbanged. Right there. That's pretty much most of what you need to know for the mid nades. Um, 
There's a nade over here. This is like the only nade towards one from base. You go in this corner. You crouch. Oh, it's not even really possible in the snow map. Great. I love the snow map. Anyway, you aim in between these two things. If you can see them. Holy crap. This Mission map. Time Stand up and jump. Operation success. And it should to go in the window of the warehouse and land right there on that corner. So we'll try it again. Even though you can't hardly see on this map because of the snow covering it and it'll go in there and it'll kill s you know anybody around this corner especially around this innate spot corner it's just a common camping spot okay so early around you know as you're riding down mid you can do your default over the warehouse nade jump thing it'll kill people towards the uh, stairs derp derp right there and you can also do your default right there and right there those will get you kills. But of course, you can be a pro into a nade spot. Go in this corner, aim in the middle of the window. And that will go to the back of the warehouse, exit the warehouse, and kill anybody running in. Yes, I just threw a nade through a window over two boxes, popped it out of the door, and hit somebody rushing. Do you have a problem? Another nade. Line up on this railing. Aim above the white box so that the bottom line of your crosshair is over the white box. It'll bounce in and kill somebody. Now, if you jump, oops, if you jump, it'll also go in. Another thing you can do is line it up so that they're on top of each other like this and jump, and it'll go in again. Three different ways to nade. The first one hit right there, the third one failed, and the second one went right there, killing people running in. So, so far you can need people running in there, you can need people here, you can need people there, and you can need people here. Now, for here and here, I have more spots. Another neat spot you can do is to go right up here in between in this little edge. Aim at this little edge right there. Boom. Bounce it. Pops in the warehouse. And that will hit the first spot I said right here. So now we can need here, 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 there, there. Now let's need it right here with what I would call an easy nade, or so I think. Go up there, you aim above the white box. No. Jump. No. I actually forgot this nade then. Do you aim at the corner and not above it? Okay, hold on. I'm being a terrible person right now. Not remembering nade spots. I, I don't know what I'm thinking. Mission time complete. Hold on. Operation success. Return to main okay, base. Okay, okay, okay. Is it from up here? Commended. I had a nade spot for this, you know? And then it just slipped my mind. Okay, I'm gonna go back again as interesting so I have more rounds here to show you the uh, rest of the one nades. Cause there's actually some more interesting ones. Rather than, you know, easy, easier looking ones that I've showed you so far. Alright. So getting back to this nade. Let's try going up against this and aiming right above that window. Because it's terrible in Nikudo. And why are you watching my stream? Nobody. Okay, yeah, that's the nade. So that nade hits there. That other nade hit there. That nade hit there. That nade hit there. That nade hit there. And that nade hit there. Did you think I was streaming Soldier Fun 2? And the other nade hit there. But anyway, these nades cover the warehouse basically. So we're going to go to nading mid. You go up against this green wall. <laughs> and then you aim in between these uh, things on this white box and you bring it up to the height of oh fuck they changed the lighting on the snow blacks and I can't even <sighs> in between this stuff bring it up to where it should be if this map wasn't so gay and it should go in the mid house but of course the map is so gay with the lighting applied yep it goes mid okay well that's if you want to nade mid guys We'll have to learn a new nade spot. Let's learn the nade spot for mid now. Okay. Go in the corner, aim above this corner, and jump. And if that doesn't go in mid door, then you're not nading anybody in mid door, guys. 
but thankfully it goes in mid door. So there, you're nading somebody mid door. Okay. Now if you aim lower, if I'm not mistaken, it should go in farther. And yeah, Nukudo, this is this is very game app. Anyway, aim below that corner and jump. Oh, by the way, is my stream quality good? If you're still watching. No, it landed in the same spot. Anyway, that's for the mid. So now we have nade spots for all these places, but let's get to the real nade spots. The last few. Go in the corner. Now you see this little red light into the left, up, bam, run, jump. And that should go there and kill the scope. Other nade is you want to go out on this ledge. Make sure you're in line with the second line there. And then you want to just run, jump that. We'll just jump. Oh, yeah, I didn't run, jump. I just jumped. That's why you quote unquote run, jump. Oh, that's why you quote unquote don't run. You run, jump. And that'll land mid behind the white box. So Mission we now have nades complete. for this, this, Operation mid, success. there, all inside base. the warehouse. So the one site is completely covered. There, there's no more nades you could possibly hope for. I mean, if you're rotating, you can throw a nade off that. And, wow. My luck. You can throw a nade off that and hit a, hit a guy <laughs> behind this. You know, obviously you'd want to do it at this angle so you're not derping like I just did.